This is a big moment for you, but possibly a bigger yep. moment for Novak. Let's not lie here. Obviously, he's starting his uh, campaign as he defends this title. I mean, mm -hmm. can he be beaten this year? You've done it before. How difficult is he to beat? I mean, look, he's... I mean, look, in best of three, it's 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 possible. Best of five is a whole different beast. And you saw the greats of Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, guys like Andy Murray even struggle to have success against Novak, you know, on the biggest stages in the world. So do I believe that there are players in the draw that could do it? Yes. I think Alcaraz, Sinner, Medvedev, Zverev, there are a bunch of players that can do it. Um, but it, it's, it's an incredibly tough task. But tonight, I think, you know, we'll see how his wrist is. Obviously, that was a concern coming into the tournament. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm keen to see what the, the boat has to offer and, and to see, um, you know, how if he finds his feet. But, look, to say he's going to be beaten, he's definitely the favourite. I think he can be beaten, but I'm going to have to see it. See, it's believing it, isn't it, of course. Obviously, uh, Nick there just mentioning about the wrist problem that he sustained uh, during the United Cup against Alex de Menor. He said, though, in the press conference that actually it's not causing him too much concern. My wrist is good. Um, you know, I had time from the last match against de Menor in the United Cup to my first match here to, to recover, so I've been training well practice sessions pain-free so far, so it's it's good. It's all looking good. Right, let's see how it goes. So he's playing that one down. Obviously, Nick, we know he's had injuries here before and still gone on to win in 21 with that abdominal injury. And then last year as well, he had some strapping, didn't he, around his hamstring. So that's not particularly going to affect him. Again, we just said he can be beaten. Do you have to get to him mentally as well? You're the kind of player that could get to him mentally. How do other players try so. and do that to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, as Tim and, and Matt's know, you know, there's the level of anxiety, you know, the, the players feel, you know, leading into a Grand Slam. A niggle tends to become a bit bigger than it is. You know, all your senses are heightened. So, you know, he's, he's won to already, you know, carry an injury in like last year, deal with it, win the tournament. So I don't think... You know, the wrist is too big of an issue. But look, any any sort of advantage as a player, if I know his wrist is, is sore, I'm going to ask him on change events. I'm like, How's that wrist going, you know, if he misses a ball or anything like that to try and just see if I can get an edge. But look, I think it's it's impossible to get in his head. I thought I did it at Wimbledon when I won the first set, but he's the greatest of all time for a reason. You know, he's so composed. So we'll see what the, the young teenager can do tonight. I think Novak is 15 and zero against teenagers in Grand Slam. So he's going to have to do the unthinkable tonight, his opponent. I love that you've been doing your homework. I love that. <laughs> tick, tick. Oh, he definitely. can come back and join us again. Dino, Dino Primic, though, Nick, as well, he has openly come out and says, like a lot of players do, he idolises Novak Djokovic. He even mm -hmm. changed his diet to follow Novak. He sees yep. plays better as, as a result of that. Again, this is going to be a moment that he's absolutely dreamt of. How does he go about kind of squashing the excitement of playing him and possibly the nerve as well, 15,000 people out there in Rod Laver, and just maybe try and get a game under his belt? <laughs> a game, one yeah, maybe think, would I, be great. Look, I, well, I think he'll do better than that. Look, he, he, he won the French Open Juniors, so he's not, he's not one to, to not winning. He's obviously had a lot of success in his junior career, um, but he's got no pressure. It's very easy to go out there with no pressure and go swing and enjoy the moment. So, look, Novak's got all the expectation. I'm not saying he's, the upset's going to happen, but I think he'll do great out there. It's, it's a hell of an experience to go out there first time against the, the best player in the world. And, and what an experience he can tell his family. You know, if he's got siblings, like, they're all going to be so proud. And, and it's a good paycheck for someone that's 18. So, look, in my eyes, he's got nothing to lose. Go out there, have some fun, put on a show. Yeah, Nick, when you look back at some of your biggest matches when you were sort of coming onto the scene, what was it important to, mm. for you to do sort of in those early stages? Because it's obvious, you know, he's going to be properly nervous going out there on Rod Laver Arena against the defending champion. Yeah, well, I mean, when I played Rafa for the first time at Wimbledon uh, in the fourth round, when I had success, I was so nervous the first point that when I hit a fault, I hit a big second serve as hard as I could because I didn't want to rally. So that's how, that's how nervous I was. I didn't want to be involved in any sort of rally. So... And then I realized that just playing my game was enough. So my advice to the youngsters to go out there, don't try and be too flashy, don't do anything crazy, play within yourself, see how it goes. And, and if you... If, Scoreboard pressure is a big thing. Hold your first couple service games. Try and build that pressure at least. And look, anything's possible. I've seen stranger things happen. Nick Kyrgios is a commentator for Eurosport. So if that's possible, <laughs> I think tonight he can at least win a set. 
Yeah. But you obviously won Grand Slams as a teenager. You know how it's done. <laughs> how yep. did you manage yep. the expectation at such a young age? Yeah, I think... Um, first, first of all, when I played my first Grand Slam final against Guillermo Vilas, I literally didn't think I was going to win games. So that was my goal, was to get a game in the first set. And I got a game in the first set, and I remember... And I lost 6-1, but I remember... Oh, thank goodness. So I think for, for uh, the youngster here tonight, he, he just has to get on the scoreboard first. And I, and I agree uh, completely with Nick. But, Nick, I wanted to ask you another thing. Boris Becker, of all people, said once to me yeah. that the young guys actually, they, they prefer to play against Novak compared to a Rafa Nadal or a Roger Federer because the ball comes very clean from Novak. Well, so it's not that difficult to play against. In the beginning, you get a certain rhythm. Mm but then most probably mm. much harder to beat. How do, you, how do you look at that? Yeah, I agree with that statement, which is, which is odd because me and Boris don't agree with much <laughs> towards each other. But, um, yeah, I can understand where he's coming from. You know, Rafa has that physicality and that game style. You know, big lefty, no, you know his patterns, but you can't do anything about it. And Roger Federer could make you feel so bad on the court, you know, shrinking the court, taking time away from you, never feel settled. So I do agree with that. At least with Novak, you know you're going to have that, those exchanges, those long, grueling exchanges, but you're going to get warm, you're going to get into it, and then that's the problem of trying to figure out how to beat him. It's like a ping-pong machine. But I agree with that statement, but look... I would do not want to see Novak Djokovic in the first round of a Grand Slam. Let's just put that there. But look, I'm, I'm, I'm keen to see what this youngster's got, man. Like, show, I, I want to see, and this is where he can do it. He can put all of his ability on the line and, and show the world what he can do. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I'm not a body language expert, but Dino, I'm going to say, looks a little bit nervous. A little bit, a little bit nervous there. <laughs> I mean, as would be expected. Also, he's in the bowels of the Rod Laver Arena. Probably the biggest stage. <laughs> he's ever played and he's walked past Djokovic as well. He's seen his face a, a couple of times there. He hasn't seen his own face and just goes, this is who I've got to play against. Somebody that has won this 10 times. Nick, did you used to get, as they're walking out here, I might have to cut you off. How nervous did you used to feel in this moment? Yeah, look, I was nervous really nervous in the Wimbledon final and I'd been on the tour for 10 plus years. I didn't sleep for two nights prior. So I can only imagine how he's feeling right now. You know, this is the first round, but look at, and this walk now for the viewers out there is so hot and steamy and it goes for so long. You, all these thoughts are running through your head and he's got the greatest of all time behind him. I can guarantee you, he's, if he had a GPS heart rate, a heart rate one around him right now, the thing would be nearly broken. That's how nervous he'd be right now. Yeah, Nick, I mean, you talk about his heart rate. How would it have felt when he took the wrong corridor there, getting the wrong <laughs> way to, to centre court? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just don't know why they don't put air conditioning in this hallway. I walked down here, like, I played Rafa on Rod Laver so many times and it was so hot, I felt like I was going to cramp walking down this hallway. So what hope <laughs> do I have if I'm playing one of the greatest? But yeah, you, he's definitely feeling it. But good luck to him. I, I wish him all the best. Yeah. Final thoughts? It's men's singles I mean, first round action. Please welcome to Novak, Rod Labour Arena Novak in from Croatia, sense. Dino Prismic. He's got a soak up, hasn't he? That reception. That is all for him at this moment Serbia, in time. Novak Djokovic. I mean, I get goosebumps here, Nick, just uh, being, what, 4,000 miles away from Australia. How is it when you walk out into that arena in front of your home crowd? Do you get the goosebumps still, or is it kind of just like, oh, I'm used to that now? Do you ever get used to that? No, that feeling doesn't go away. Just sitting here in the commentary box, I can feel that. I can see the crowd here. I can, I can feel the energy. It's, it's amazing, you know, it, and, and I was just thinking about it. I can't wait to get back healthy to, to feel that once again. But I can assure you when the youngster heard the crowd just then when Novak walked out, he's, he, that's, it's starting to hit him right now. <laughs> Nick, we've got one final question. Are you getting FOMO yep. right now? Uh, I am. I would, okay. I would love to play Novak in these, in these conditions. It'd be amazing.